Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dale, and I'm bringing you guys another episode of Jungle Pete. Um, this is probably, I don't even know now, it's been, it's been a week since I have made a Jungle Heat update, since I was on vacation. If you guys haven't, uh, watched my last video, so I'm back from vacation, I got home yesterday. And now I'm gonna be back on about two, I'm gonna be probably doing two videos a day. Um, and I've gotten a lot of feedback, um, on my Jungle Heat, uh, videos in particular, saying that I don't talk about the game as much as I do and I should talk about the game more than about me because I actually was watching I did go back and watch my videos and I didn't notice I was talking about um, me more than the game I guess so a lot of you guys didn't like that so I'm gonna try not to do that anymore um, I try to do I got I mean I don't know why people got so mad because I I do I tell you guys these things so that you guys know in advance that I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be gone for a week and I'm trying to guys let you guys know what's going on with me so if you guys don't get mad because I don't post anything, then you guys won't even know what's going on because I didn't tell you. So this is why I tell you guys these things, but a lot of people don't like it. So, um, I guess if I don't post any videos, then that's up to you guys. I don't know. Anyways, so I'll probably just save the, my, what, my, like, my personal stuff to other videos that don't require as much thinking. Um, so here we go. Let's get into this. Um, it has been a week, so my... Command Center did finally finish upgrading. I'm pretty sure it was upgraded in the last game uh, episode. Um, I did go back and redesign my base because a lot of you guys are saying, where's your motors and or your mortars and flamethrowers? I didn't have one, but... So I did... I um, Yesterday I spent the day um, filling up my defenses because I didn't have all my defense towers out. And I finally went back, or yesterday I went back and I built all of them so I have all... Of my defenses out on my um, base along with all my resources and some other stuff um, so yeah we got we have pretty much everything we can build on my base now so I did that and then once everything was built I went and um, kind of redesigned a little bit because um, when you upgrade this one again you get another um, watchtower you actually get two more watchtowers um, I know because what I was doing was I was going in here and looking at these people that have really high levels, like this guy Fox here. And I was going in here and I was trying to figure out how many of each um, defense I get and how many of each um, like storages or whatever. So I was looking at here and he's got four um, gold storages and four oil storages. And I have two and then there's only six, um, there's still six oil silos and six gold mines. And then there's four storages. And then there's six watchtowers, six cannons, three flamethrowers, right? Yes. Three Jerichos and three mortars, I believe. So what I was trying to do was I'm trying, I was trying to get these to where they cover the best range. So these watchtowers, I put them on the corners like this because... These cover a huge range. When you click on them, it shows a range of where they cover. So putting them on the four corners, they pretty much, when I get attacked, they pretty much attack everybody that comes in to my base. So everybody, when if they come over here, they're going to get attacked by at least two uh, watchtowers once they get close, hopefully. If they come toward the middle, they're going to definitely get hit by two watchtowers because they cover the middles. And then, then what I did was I built the Jericho's. And I put one on each side because the range is pretty big, somewhat. And I put the Jerichos here and here. And then I put two flamethrowers on the sides. Because when people attack, they usually want to use the, um, what are they called? They want to use these guys, the Hornets, that's what they're called. So they try to take out my Jerichos first. So I put these flamethrowers in here to kind of like give the little extra support um, so they don't kill the Jericho as easy. So I put these flamethrowers in front of the Jerichos. So if they come in, where's my mouse here? I'll show you, I guess I could show you. So if they're coming in right here and they're trying to attack me from here, and they're trying to take out the Jericho, they'll get a little hit, they'll get hit by um, these flamethrowers and these two watchtowers and these two mortars. So these two mortars will start attacking them. Um, this one probably got a little bit of range on that. Oh, maybe not. But once they get to that, then they have to get through the wash towers and the flamethrower. So what I'm trying to do here is I'll probably upgrade these walls right here. These this row of walls. So it'll be a little harder to get into the Jerichos. 
And then the same for this side. So this side is exactly the same. They have two watchtowers and motors. I'm not sure if they're going to actually reach that. So I might put a, one of these motors. I might switch it and put it here. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see. I will see and wait and see what uh, my attacks look like when I get attacked. Because while I was gone, I did get attacked a lot. Um, I got a lot of victories. So I went from like 50. My rating was 50 and I'm at 358 because I got attacked so much. And I always won. So I'm not sure why I always won because I didn't have defenses like you were saying. You guys were saying I didn't have any defenses out, and I don't know why. Like you got, you're so dumb because you didn't have the defenses like the mortars. So I did end up putting a mortar in, and then I, the attack stopped a little bit. It was a little harder to win, so I did get a lot of victories. And then I decided, okay, yeah, I guess I do got to put all my defenses in because I am getting attacked a lot more now. So I did go ahead and do that. Um, so all of my things are in. I have this Jericho at level 3, which is really nice. Um, it's expensive to level these things up. And then um, I did go build these watch, these next two watchtowers. And then I had two cannons out, and I could have put three more cannons down. So I have a cannon here. That's a level 1, another level 1, and another level 1 over here. And then these two are level 6. I'm probably going to end up upgrading them very shortly here. Actually, I might do that now because I have lots of workers. I have four workers that aren't doing anything because this worker over here is actually upgrading slab to level five because I need to upgrade. If you guys could see it, uh, you guys can't see what my uh, things look like, but my, um, oh, actually I could go in here. Duh. So you can see what levels there are. They're all pretty much trained up to level three except for these guys because I don't really use the bomb, the wall breakers as much, whatever they're called, bombers. I don't use them as much. I should actually use them. I actually did start using them for a little bit of the solo campaign stuff because I was stuck on one map. So I did use them. But I basically used these Hornets and these um, these defense. Oh, I keep forgetting the gunner. i got to memorize these guys' names. So I, I can't level them up anymore because I need to upgrade this to level 5, the lab to level 5. So I'm upgrading that to level 5 now so I can continue, continue upgrading these guys. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's my main goal is to finish upgrading these dudes to level 5. I think is their upgrade, they can go up to level 5 upgrade. I'm not sure. But that's basically what I'm doing. So then what I'm going to do next once this is done, actually, yeah. Wes, once this lab is done, I'm going to upgrade the oil. Or no, we're going to upgrade the gold storages. Once. One of them, I think, yeah. We'll probably just upgrade one gold storage so I can upgrade the command center to level 8. Because I need get that to level 8 so that way I can finally finish upgrading my command centers um, command center because then after level 8 then it's level 9 but the thing is that this takes 9 days which is just crazy so when once that's done I might go and buy some gems to finish it because that last upgrade is going to take probably 11 days or 12 days I'm thinking so I'm going to see how much it is to finish it right away and then I might go in and buy some gems to finish it to level 9 so I can get to level 9 really quick and that way I can finish building my base completely how I want it and then I'll um I might do a live stream of um my base building and then you guys can help me build it if you want to help me build it or whatever but you guys let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that maybe once this hits level 9 then um we can build my base together like all of us we can all get in to a live stream and I'll read you guys comments as we're building it and Maybe you guys can help me build it if you want, to, want me to do that. And the other thing is the clan HQ. I've gotten a lot of messages and by um, lots and lots of messages on usernames and stuff for the clan HQ when it comes out. It should be coming out very shortly, probably within the next week, I'm hoping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through all the comments and um, get all your guys' names down and see if I can invite you all. Or maybe you guys might have to... Um, uh, send me a message um i'm still thinking of a name um, i'm thinking jungle monkeys as a clan name for this one or droid army i'm thinking about doing droid army for the channel like android or like droid and then army at the end because it'll be like the android army or something like that and then instead of android it'll do droid army kind of like star wars where they had the droid army or whatever but maybe i'm thinking that might work on all of the, these games that I play like this and Battle Beach and uh, what's the other one Pfft, forgot Castle Clash that one doesn't have clans so I don't think 
But I'm thinking Droid Army would be good because then it'd be like the Android. All all my subscribers are were part of his Droid Army or something. But I don't know. You guys let me let me, let me know. Let me know. You guys like Jungle Monkeys or Droid Army? Maybe we'll use Droid Army and all these other clan clan based games. Um. So that's basically that. I did. So I'm going to basically. And then, yeah, I, the reason I put these mortars like this, too, is because these mortars have a good range. These guys have a really good range. So I'm putting, I'm putting them toward the middle more, along with the Jerichos, because the Jerichos are more vulnerable to attacks because their health is not that good, I don't think. So, um, because they can stop the flying guys pretty nicely. So that's why I put these mortars in here and here, because they cover pretty much most of the map. If I put one here and here... And then I had an extra one, so I wasn't sure what to do with that. I think I might put it um, either here or here on this side. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm still not done finishing this base. I, if you can see here, I have these two on the outsides with, um, like, uh, I think I'm going to put these last two watchtowers here and here, though. I'm not sure yet. But once I hit level 9, we're going to redo the whole base again because I want to get everything that I can get onto this base, and then we're going to just redesign everything. We're gonna make it, make it from scratch. We're just gonna put everything along the edges and um, do it. So this is a work in progress. Still, we're not completely done. So that is basically. It. And then if you guys are wondering why there's space here, um, I think because um, if you go in here and look at this drone, yeah, it's one spot. Oh darn it! Darn it, I need more space. Okay, because I was going to put a drone here and over here. And then when you upgrade this to level 8, you get another one. So you have you have three death drones um, right in your map once you get to level 8, which will be very, very nice. So I was going to put them there, but obviously I need more room. So I'm going to have to probably go back and redo it. Because I am getting close to uh, that. I have 900, or I'm almost at a million right now, so... I'm getting close to that, but I'm trying to decide if I want to upgrade my defenses with the gold or buy the depth drones because these are all level one. Like these watchtowers are both level one. Um, this one's a level seven, but and uh, what is the damage per second's 42 compared to what level one, which is 11. So that's pretty terrible. Uh huh. So I'm, tr I'm still trying. I'm still trying to decide what to do with the gold right now. This is why I'm trying to just save up the gold. Um, I'm actually probably just going to end up getting, upgrading the defenses because I do need to use these workers for something. I might actually upgrade these walls a little bit too. I got to do that. Yeah, I got to upgrade these walls on both sides of the Jerichos because I know whenever I watch the replays of my attacks, they always go for the Jerichos first so they can send in some flying guys. If you look, it seems like most of them used, or none, only one person did. But the earlier attacks I was watching, a lot of people used the flying guys. But a lot of people just like this guy just comes in with a bunch of resource guys. And that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing for a little bit. So I'm still tr trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my army. Because um, I, I need to upgrade. I need to do upgrade. I need to get to the Black Hawk. Because if you look at my thing here. Um, if I go in and try to attack this guy. I mean I only have three you guys but these walls are all upgraded to level 10 which is pretty crazy and all these um towers are all upgraded all the way so this one is very hard because they are all upgraded really high and i can't send them in with hornets because there's jerichos on each side um unless i put oh dang it i didn't mean to do that whatever unless i put um if I send in gunners first, but then the watchtowers will take them out pretty easily too, I think. So, I don't know. I'm still just trying to figure it out. Um, I'm probably going to... That's what the other thing I want to do is upgrade at least the Black Hawk. Maybe even the the healer. But this one's getting there. I mean, this one is already there. I just need to upgrade it. How much is it? A million? This is the problem though, because it costs so much resource. It costs a lot of resources to upgrade these to the next level. So, that's why it's a little... A little hard, but I think actually, because I upgraded these all to level 2 yesterday, how much is it, 110? Mm. No, I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade these to level 3. All these to level 3, 
And then this one's level three flamethrower. Um, and then we might upgrade this to level two. Um, actually, you know what? I might have, we're gonna do the watchtowers. How many? How many guys we got left? One. Um, actually, how much uh, damage per second plus seven? Yeah, we're gonna upgrade him to level seven. So now I have no more gold. So now, now that all my workers are busy doing whatever they need to do. How much is this going to take anyway? 15, 16 hours? Sorry, 16 hours a day and then two days. All right. So that is basically it. Then next, I'll probably upgrade these walls a little bit, um, at least to level three walls has 700 health. Compared to that, what if I upgrade it one more time? 200, oh my God. See, as hell, these walls don't give you any Thing. I might upgrade just one wall and see how far I can get with that one wall Just to see how much health it gives like what's what's the stopping point for when it gives a lot of health like Maybe level five walls when it starts to give more health because I know it goes up to level 10 I think or 11 it might go up to 11 So I mean it's probably gonna be bigger increments because this is a small increment right here from 700 to 200 Then it'll probably jump a little bit each time So I want to see which one or what level wall would be the best for that? I'm still thinking, thinking, thinking about that. Um, so that's basically it for this update. Um, I guess I could show you this. I could show you what my, yeah, here we go. I'll show you what my base looked like before um, I left. When you guys were saying put the mortar in, I did end up putting mortar in right there in the middle. So I did put that in. This is what the base looked like before. And then a couple of people said it was a terrible base. I know it was a terrible base because, I mean, this is, this, I wasn't getting attacked by anybody. So I didn't really need to do anything with my base at all. So then once I started getting attacked more, I decided whatever, well, I'll have to redesign this because this guy took a lot of resources. That's the other thing I forgot, I forgot about this. I had at least 700,000, um, I had at least 700,000 oil. And then this guy attacked me and took all this oil and it dropped me down to like 400. I forgot how much it took. But I realized that when you get attacked, they take the oil out or the gold or oil out of the storages, which I didn't know. Because I thought they only took the oil and gold that they took from here. Like whatever was in your gold mine or oil silos, I thought that's the only thing they could take. But apparently they can take all the oil and stuff out of here too because I didn't know they would be able to take so much anyway. Like, I knew you could take some, but I didn't know it was going to be that much oil. So this guy took a lot of oil from me, and it was, I mean, it was just crazy. So this guy, this guy lost, he didn't get, he didn't three-star me because he didn't have enough time to three-star me because he didn't have enough resource gatherers here. He's got like three or four of them, so he's just going around with three or four of them. There's a couple more. And then... Yeah, he didn't three-star me because he didn't have enough time. But I, so I realized that I didn't notice. Yes, he took 200,000 gold and a lot of oil. I had a lot of oil in, and then he took so much, and I realized, okay, maybe, maybe the gold storage and oils, the gold and oil storages need to be protected a little better. So I put these oil storages in here and the gold storages in here too because I think they need to be protected a little bit. Because whatever, if I can keep track or if I can keep updated by collecting my gold mines and oil storages there won't be any gold or oil in those mines to be for them to take the only thing they'll be able to take is stuff out of the gold storage or the oil storage so that's why I'm trying to protect those guys a little better so they don't have to take as much because if I can just keep keep um, gathering everything out of these mining um, storage or the mining stuff then they won't take as much but if the oil is protect a little better and the gold is protected the storages are protected better anyway I think it will be it will be a little better that way so I'm gonna see what happens I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep track of how much money I have up here and I'm gonna when I get attacked I'll see how much I lose and then I'll figure out what he hit what they hit and stuff so I'm trying to strategize this a little better than I used to some cause before I was just playing it and I'm trying to strategize a little better now because I know you guys want more strategy type stuff instead of just playing whatever and then, yeah, I'm going to start upgrading the walls next, probably, because a lot of you guys said upgrade the walls. So, yes, I know, I, do, I know that I do have to upgrade these walls because they are pretty weak. They're all still level 1, except for a few of them I have level 3 here. 
That's what I did a long time ago. So yeah, I'm going to upgrade these walls soon. Probably once I get my defenses a little better, um, upgrade a little better, then we'll start um, upgrading them better. So basically that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know I'm going to definitely try to concentrate on the game more than myself. I'll save that stuff for other videos that what that I don't really need to talk about the game as much. So if you guys liked it, please sure to leave a like button and let me guys know let me let me know what you guys are thinking while you're watching this because a lot of you guys I've gotten a lot of complaints, a lot of dislikes on these videos now because I don't really talk about the game as much. So let me guys how did you guys enjoy that video? Did you like it? Do you want me to play or talk about that more? Just let me know in the comments what you're thinking, and I'll see you guys in the next video pretty much. I'm Dale. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next video.